Hello, my name is Jacob Hancock, and I will be reviewing the two-arm Armenian spiral antenna. Currently, these antennas are popular for being compact and planar in structure, which is ideal for mobile applications, along with its wide circular polarization, which is better direction finding. And to top it all off, with its wide band frequencies, it can sweep a much wider frequency band. Unfortunately, it is not very effective in the higher frequency bands, but it is very effective in the lower ones. And because it is effective in the lower ones, it is known for having a much lower antenna gain, but on the other hand, a much higher radiation efficiency. Next, for my antenna design, I constructed two planar circular spirals with five full turns, with the second spiral being translated 180 degrees compared to the first one, as shown below in the two images. And next, I created an insulated grounding plate to be installed on the bottom side of the antenna to be measured 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters to account for future diameter expansion of the antenna. And I decided on the material of FR-4 because of its applications in many other designs. And to continue with my design of the antenna, I also constructed an SMA-RF coax connector to be installed in the center of the spirals to be a 50 ohm uh, impedance and to be made with polytetrafluoroethylene dielectric on the inside, which is also known as Teflon. The test frequency range I did was from 200 megahertz to eight gigahertz to cover most of the low frequency range, along with a popular power accuracy of negative 40 dB. And the parameters I changed was the number of turns and the winding progress with my initial design being the median of the two, being five turns and two for the winding progress. And as you can see on the right, with the different test cases, when the case is one, the winding progress is 1.1, same with two, winding progress is two, and three, case three, with the winding progress being three. The only difference is, and when it's case A, the turns is three, case B, five and with case C it's seven turns. First up is the radiation efficiency which for cases two and three as the number of spiral and turns increase the radiation efficiency also increased along with the winding pro progress also increasing which is why case three had a much higher radiation efficiency compared to its counterparts in case two. With the trend of those as shown below. And for case one, between the frequency band of 200 megahertz to 2.14, the radiation efficiency would fluctuate quite heavily, with the rest of the band staying between negative 5 and negative 15 dB if you negate the variable spikes, as shown in the following graph below. Next is the my results on the antenna gain, which the trend of with the increase in spiral turns and, and winding progress, you would have a much higher antenna gain, with the exception of case 3C, with the winding progress being 3 and the number of turns being 7, which had a lower off dB than case 3B, with a reduced number of turns being 5, but it was still higher than its counterparts with a lower winding progress, as shown in the cases below with the number of turns increasing. You have a much higher output of antenna gain along with an increase in winding progress which had a more significant impact on the increase of radiation efficiency. The only difference was this case which turned out to look lower than its 
the same winding progress with a lower number of turns. The band width for the cases 2 and 3 between the frequency ranges of 200 gigahertz to 6.75 gigahertz as the number of spiral and turns increased along with the winding progress the bandwidth would also increase and for the rest of the frequencies between 6.75 and 8 gigahertz the bandwidth would linearly decrease from about 2.5 to roughly zero for all cases in those as shown in the diagram below and for case one the bandwidth would remain roughly about zero compared to it, the other two cases and unlike those the bandwidth seemed to spike a lot but it would increase subtly over the frequency range as in the trend below and following and the most surprising is the impedance reference impedance for all the cases seem to remain constant no matter which case number of turns or winding progress there were they would always remain at about 15 50.35 ohms across the entire free tested frequency band finally for my results on the power accepted and power radiated when one tends to increase the other one also increases but for my design the power simulated is half a watt but specifically for cases two and three as the number of turns and winding progress increases the amount of power accepted also increases at lower frequencies but on the other hand for case two the power accepted and power radiated is higher at higher frequencies over those bands but the difference between the power accepted and power radiated is almost the same regardless of the number of turns between those two cases but the difference is reduced when the winding progress is 3 compared to 2 as shown below with a winding progress of 2 and a winding progress of 3 and on the other hand for case 1 the two are mainly zero if you take out the variable spikes compared to the other two cases as shown in its diagram here overall for the best spiral antenna design between the nine when you eliminate case 3c because of the bandwidth and antenna gain problems along with case one's power acceptance problems when testing you're left with seeing the trend between all the parameters, which tends to be higher turn number of turns and higher winding progress. And between those, that leaves you with cases 3B and 2C. But between the two, the one with a winding progress of three and five turns would have a much higher radiation efficiency, antenna gain, and bandwidth and power at lower frequencies compared to even though it was a winding progress of two with seven turns it would just have higher power frequencies but compared to the trade-offs I would choose case 3b being the best design of the bunch which can be shown on the right and in closing remarks for possible improvement you can better optimize a spiral antenna design by having a higher number of turns or a higher number of winding progress until you get to a level off or possible reduction in capabilities as per the gain calculation for case 3c but for better results I would avoid going any less than two winding progress in my design Plus, for cost saving, if you have to choose to do a higher winding progress, it would reduce the number of turns required to get equal results, which would save you money because you would have less material to be purchased. Thank you.